Protein uh, is another natural product. Uh, it's produced in the body. You can get it through the diet. It goes down with age. Um, and it was really developed by other researchers, um, Frank Medeo, uh, Guido Kramer, and others, who've shown that it activates autophagy in the body. Uh, and we'd never played with it. But one of the things I do in my lab a lot, especially with natural products, is try to validate some of the things that are out there in the literature and get a feel for working with it in animal models before we start testing it in humans. Um, some things we're not so good at validating, <laughs> but spermidine uh, looks like it's the real deal, at least in our hands. So we can, we see a, a lifespan extension with it, although we only did a few mice for survival, so it's not well powered, but our data is consistent with the data in the literature. Uh, and we found that it's very protective for mice on a high fat diet. So that's um, exciting when you consider that many people are eating unhealthy high fat diets. Uh, and uh, uh, a molecule like this may be more beneficial, at least metabolically, for people with unhealthy diets and unhealthy lifestyles than people that are exercising a lot. So um, that's just speculation. But, but our data suggests spermidine is may be efficacious. Uh, and uh, that's, I think that's on the market as well. You can get that. What we'd like to do is to choose many different interventions, uh, small molecules, supplements, a couple drugs even, and then also some lifestyle interventions. Because what I'd like to do, you know, many companies are trying their favorite molecule. And um, I think that's fine. That's their, you know, they're incentivized to do that. We'd like to take an agnostic approach where we're comparing different interventions and see which ones work the best in which populations. And so to do that, we'll do smaller studies per intervention, but we'll study many different kinds of interventions and then try to see which ones work the best. And certainly spermidine would be on that list. We haven't resolved um, the, the uh, order of studies beyond the, the three I told you, but. Um, uh, that's certainly one that I think is worth looking into in more detail.